I had to bring out my favorite toy. The Milwaukee. Dewalt had to take a take a break on the shelf for this guy. Two fists. Two fists. <laughs> Two hands. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Taylor, and we're here again with Cream Pie. She just got done getting her front grill facial done. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the bumper trim pieces in black. So I got her center trim piece here, as well as the two wings. And we'll be putting on either side. And the only thing I should have done was do that first, because as of last video, um, you saw me remove the grill and I have to remove the grill again to do the bumper. Oops. Which is totally fine, just a little extra work no big deal um and yeah so i'm just gonna kind of speed through this bit here because i just did this so if you want to see what we did with her last video go check it out otherwise here we go I did it. All right guys, got the grill off and I removed three more clips that are kind of hidden underneath of it. So you wanna make sure you remove those. You got uno, dos, trace right here. And um, please excuse cream pie, I know she's a little bit wet. I tried drying her off, but it's just so the way she is. So I'll work around it and now. We gotta start moving some, uh, removing some 10 millimeters on a bumper. So I had to bring out my favorite toy. Mm -hmm. The Milwaukee. Dewalt had to take a, take a break on the shelf for this guy. Two fists, <laughs> two hands. It's a two-handed tool with room for more. And we're gonna be breaking some nuts today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you on this side first what we're doing, because it's it's identical on either side, but I got two 10 millimeters here and here, as I can demonstrate. I don't know if you can see them. Flashlight. Oh no, dos. We got one directly underneath, so you don't wanna forget about that guy, and then several others along the front, and then identical on the other side. So once we get these nuts off, we'll be ready to take off the bumper. So let me get on that. I'm gonna bowler, put my hair back. I don't wanna roll over it. I've done that before. It's not, it's not the time to pull hair. All right. Am I going the right direction? Two years later. Hey, welcome back. It's actually day two for me on this project. I uh, was taking off the bumper how I was supposed to, um, and unfortunately, I broke both the mounting clips that come on to the bumper here and here. Um, I watched a lot of videos, and, and I was being really careful, but I think they were just kind of old and brittle, just from wear and tear and age, and they both snapped off. So I have brand new mounting brackets. So when I take them off, you'll see I already installed them. Uh, but you, you just want to kind of get your fingers in here and around the bumper and just gently peel them out. Just kind of slide it off. There. Perfect. Lay it down nice. And I'm going to go ahead here in a second and start removing all the silver pieces. I'm going to swap them out for black. But before I do that, I just want to show you, these are the brand new mounting brackets. And they're super easy to replace them. I mean, you just bolt them in there. Um, and I, well, All right, guys, I went ahead and I got the bumper put on a blanket so that I don't scratch it anymore. And we're just going to go ahead and remove both the side wings and then the front trim piece. I removed one side first, so I want to make sure I knew how to do it. That way you didn't have to see me struggle too much because sometimes those clips can be quite 
quite a pill. So um, I'm going to start with the center piece and then I'll go to the other wing. So it's just another 10 mil on my Milwaukee hair. not fun you're gonna have to manhandle it you cannot handle this man. with a good flat head as you can see I mean I, I had to dig those clips out but on to the next wing you just kind of fold these clips out and take it out it's just enough You just put in the new black ones in the same order that you removed them and then set the bumper back on put your screws in the bottom the way you took them out and you're good to go all right and that is it now you just close your hood stand back and enjoy your new front facial looks so good the black really ties in the front bumper to the grill I really love it. I love the contrast of the white and the black. Makes that panda bear kind of look that I'm going for. So, not gonna lie, that kind of kicked my butt a little bit more than I thought. Those clips are not fun. I've, I mean, my fingers hurt for that. But otherwise, it was a really cool project. I love the way it turned out. I have a few more black trim pieces that I'm gonna be doing. I'm not sure which one I'll do next. If I'll do the door handles or the rear bumper. I'm still waiting on one of my side view mirror caps. So we'll go on to the next project. And um, thank you for sticking around with me. I hope I can see you guys soon. I do stream live daily over on my other channels. So check that out and give me a follow and subscribe. Thanks, bye.